Webhooks help us to get notification about events and Resend give us the opportunity to create custom webhooks directly on the dashboard. So on the dashboard, I'm going to click here on webhooks. And when I click on webhooks, I'm supposed to arrive on the list of webhooks that I want to configure. So here we see that I don't got any webhook yet. And basically here, if I click on webhook, I can see that I can create an endpoint URL. I can here select an event to listen. So immediately we understand that um, depending on the event, we can call this webhook, right? So let's say that I'm going to click on email delivered. I would like to call an endpoint, but we did not create this endpoint yet. So probably what we would like to do is to have an endpoint on our um, Next.js 14 application that we can call, okay? So this endpoint basically uh, would be called for email delivered, but I could add other events if I would like to. Okay, so let's go to our application on the API here folder, and I already got resend in here. I'm just going to create a new folder called webhooks, okay? And when I got this webhooks here, I'm going to uh, just create. So here we can see that I already created this uh, folder in the previous course. But let's say that on webhook, I would like to have a test folder. And in this uh, uh, test folder, oh no, I'm going to change the name. It's not going to be test because here we see that. Let's say that we are going to call it testing. And on testing, I'm going to have a root.ts. And this is the root that I'm going to call every time that I'm going to send an email. So we are supposed to get this call back in here. On this root here, I'm just going to create a, a post and I'm going to do exactly like what I did before. Okay, so I'm going to import my next request and I'm going to have my next response here. I'm going to type this and there we go. So what I want to do is to return a next response. And in my next response, I'm going to put a status 200. So we should be good. Also, what I want to do, I want to catch actually my body. So I'm going to go here and type body is equal await. And it's going to be request.json and I want to console log my body. Basically, on my production is going to be API recent webhooks slash testing. Before that, here I'm supposed to do HTTPS and with my production URL.com, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then it's going to work. However, now we want to test it locally. So what we need to do is to use ngrok. Ngrok, this is a tool, a platform that is going to create for us a URL. And this URL will help us to redirect all the call from this URL to our main localhost. So this is really easy to use. You can go here, this is free. You can install it. Once you have signed up to ngrok for free, you arrive here on this page and you get a quick guide. So first you have to install ngrok, of course then you need to connect your account. So you get this command, ngrok config at to at token, and here you are supposed to have your token. And at the end, we see this command, ngrok http at. So here, this is to forward a tunnel directly to your instance. And in this new terminal here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to type ngrok, and here we can see that I can type HTTP. And I can call, actually, uh, the port that I'm using right now. So right now we see here that I'm using the port 3000. So I want to create an ngrok URL that is going to redirect my 3000 URL, which is here, so on my computer, locally now. You need to, of course, make your project running. Uh, this ngrok URL is going to redirect everything to this endpoint. So I'm going to type um, here ngrok. And we can see here that I got, so I'm going to move a little bit because you, you don't see it like this. So I just moved it in here. We can see here that I got a free plan with my URL. And I got here a URL. Now that we've got our ngrok URL, what we're going to do, we are going to add it as a webhook. So we will be able to call this URL when there is an event on resend. So basically, uh, you got to know that ngrok is going to change your URL every time you are going to launch it. Every time you are going to stop and relaunch on your terminal, you're going to have a new URL. So I'm going to click here on add webhook and I'm going to add my API resend webhook testing URL. I'm going to say, okay, when it's delivered, you call it. So I'm going to click on add and here resend is going to add to my list of webhooks the webhook and we can see here that we got also a signing 
secret to call this webhook if we want to use it. If I come back to the webhook list, we can see here that it's on status enabled and we get the endpoint here. You remember we have an endpoint called uh, email send and we can send an email here. So if I come back here to my application, I'm supposed to console log the body if I receive an answer from my webhook, my webhook coming from uh, actually um, Nengrok here. Okay, so I'm going to send an email and I'm supposed to get a message if the email has been delivered because remember, we are actually receiving only when we get email deliver. And look at this, we just received the webhook answer. What happened just here? It's really simple. We send an email through resend and we already registered this endpoint that has to be called when an email has been delivered. And we can see it in here, the type is delivered. When the email is delivered, and every time an email is delivered actually, it's going to make a call to this ngrok temporary endpoint. Because of course here I will need to change it to the production URL that I talked before. And we got here the answer of um, the email delivered. So we can catch here the events. When an email has been delivered, we can call another endpoint directly by creating a webhook directly inside Resend. If I want to get more information, I can also click here on the webhook and I can see here that I got the record of the call that I just did. We got here a success status. We can see that this event type is going to be email delivered. And we can see here that I get, I got also an ID and I got two minutes ago. So there is the webhook, but under the webhook, there are all the events that have been triggered through this webhook. Okay, that's the most interesting part of this course. Let's have a quick discussion. Why would we use webhook? Simply to get a notification about the event. We would like to be notified when our email has been bounced, click, complain, delivered, delivery, open, or send. And we imagine easily that in the future, Resend would have probably more options about webhooks and more status to listen to. We can imagine here that we would like to have some kind of notification that we would hook with something else, such as Zapier or such as Make, for instance. And we would like to know here um, when there is an email that has been complained, for instance, we would make a call to this webhook and we would get a notification directly by email or through Telegram, for instance. First, we create an endpoint. And this endpoint is going to be called by our recent webhook. If we didn't push on production our endpoint, we can use ngrok to simulate here that our local host is actually on production. So we install ngrok, then we launch ngrok next to our application that is running locally. We process to a test, so we call our endpoint on our API that is sending an email. And if everything is going well, we catch the endpoint that we created on recent. Webhooks are very useful when we want to trigger other operations after an event. And we saw here that the system provided by recent is very efficient.